But but Dobrin and Daiku three two Fozzi and Ishit and 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 they oh. were doing they did quite well themselves. I think they yeah they went to game five against Blue and Simple. So it's like Dang. I'm like what they, I'm trying to like process. Where everybody is, yeah. Because can of the they results? make the losers run? Look at these two guys. Can they make the losers run? I'm really excited Maybe. to see how their how their play style matches up against uh, matches up against Machete and Hermison. Because I don't know, Hermison has been playing really well today, uh, individually. Machete has been backing him up, but uh, Hermison on Ragnar has been. The most terrifying axe to fight off stage that I've seen besides besides Fozy. Yeah, and you know, Machete, he's not playing the Mordex pick that we know him so well right. for. As he's long not. as I can remember Machete, I remember him has a Mordex, and I feel I feel lost when he's not playing. <laughs> I agree. Because, you know, I don't know how he feels about it, but I feel lost. And, and it might be Machete not playing Mordex. Because um, I, I, I I empathize with that feeling because I remember like whenever I see somebody like when when Agzo first switched to Thor, or like when, when yeah. Addy first switched off Val, I also feel a little lost when right, that happens. Right, so it's just right. kind of like, what? Well, you're not but, who but I know. But in the end, it was yeah. clearly for the better for them. Right. But this has been so recent for Machete. I feel mm -hmm. like this only happened in the past week or and, so. And sometimes when you like see, this. and sometimes when you see these transitional legends, you'll you'll see them like play it like once or twice. If it doesn't work, then they go back, and you're like, yeah. good, okay. There's the Mordex, or there's the Bodvar, or mm -hmm. whatever it is that you uh are accustomed to. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here because this is loser's top eight. This best of five, whoever loses this is out at seventh. Uh, still an incredible run for, like at this point, Knees and Joel have like the the buffer of like, well, we've done way better than we were projected. So it's like. Yeah, but you know what? I have experienced that before. You can't. Can't let it get to you. You cannot let it get to you. Yeah. You can't be like. I made it, right? Because if you do... Then you're done. Then you're done. Even, even if you're not done... As soon as you're done, satisfied, you're yeah, done. Yep. Can't and be that's, satisfied. And that's, uh, that's risky business. But they're getting themselves situated. Dan. And, and Brahala and the task manager. On stage. We see Knees and Joel. Is getting ready, and the match that we have after this is Dobre and Daiki versus Noel and Blood Diamond. That is actually I can't history. Wait. <laughs> yeah, like it's like we have so many. Check out this weird, bracket. We have so many weird matchups, and by weird I mean it's just like there's a time where we didn't even have North American and EU separation. It's like right. way back, we just, like everybody just played on the same server because that was the one that was populated in the beta. Right, right. And, and these and four and players were, were, it's like maybe not Noel. They were. They were fighting each other, yeah, before there was a European server. Right. Dobrian and Daiku were coming to NA and fighting. And, you know, it was a little weird. They had to deal with, like, some little extra input delay because of how far away they are. O ordinarily, there is zero input delay in, mm -hmm. in Brahala, right? But when you're, like, over 100-something ping, like, the game yeah, when has to do that. Otherwise, you'll be, like, When you're in Russia out. and you're fighting in U.S. East, yeah, it's, like, it's like, yeah, it might be. It and might he was be, winning uh, tournaments yeah, from Russia. It is pretty incredible. Um, that's why that match is Check out really fun. Hermes, Hermeson pointing at the crowd. Feel, he just blessed the chat. Blessed by Hermeson. As he, as he points to the crowd. Machete. I mean, we, we talked about it before, but Machete wins tournaments. If, if Blue's not there, Machete wins. Right? That's right. Yeah. He's like, he's the guy. He's the other guy. And I feel like they've got a great chance to win. I mean, of, of course, they're, they're, they're the favored ones to win this, right? Joel and Nies are the underdogs here. But oh, absolutely. But the way we've been seeing them play is just, just beautiful. I mean, they've got, they've got this figured out here. I, I, my only, like, worry is that it is very, like, clear what they're doing. Yeah. So if, if, it, if it can be exploited... It'll be fine. It's just that Nies is actually so good at navigating, with, like offstage stuff yeah. in two v twos that maybe it's not going to matter if they know what their opponents are doing. They're, they they still have to outplay them. Um, oh man, how fierce uh, Daimyo and, and Ragnar look! I'm hoping that this is the button check. Cause the this is the button check. Are no, this is super duper button check. Yeah, okay, good. I was gonna say the Scarlet pick was a little out of a little out of field, but it wasn't. 
I'm just so used to four crossovers that I was like worried for a second. Oh, check check out uh, check out Hermison's playstyle here. You can see it on the on the screen. He uses he puts his right hand on the arrow keys, so he's he's WASD, He's space to jump, and his actions are on the arrow keys. Interesting. Huh. I know that when I play keyboard, I had my actions on the number pad. Oh really? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, it's, it, it was just like a, I wanted to feel like I was using the mouse, but I wasn't using the mouse, and this was too close, so I was just like, this is the farthest my hand could be. So I, I, I like piano key JKL semicolon with my right hand. Oh, I when see. I play on. No. I still was D. I know, like, Eggsoup, like, Eggsoup actually plays piano, and so he doesn't even WASD. He has his movement keys yeah, all in a straight line, line ASDF. It's crazy to me. I don't that's, know. I, I, that I get seems the, weird to me, big yeah. time, but, you know. I could kind of Everybody's see, like, got the, their preference. I can kind of see the piano correlation, but it's just kind of like, how can you, like, you, uh, yeah, arrogant, like, yeah, you want up to be up, to uh, be above, right? Exactly. right? I, know, I know somebody who doesn't do WASD. They have it so that the left and right, what's left and right of W? It's like Q and... E, right? Yeah, Q and E. So they do Q W E S. What? Yes, because that, they that think it makes. They think he thinks it makes more sense. Maybe. I also know people right that will up. that will use four yeah. fingers on WASD and not like three, not moving your middle finger up between How W and S. How do they do S. that? How do they? They, they got small fingers. I don't know. I can't so do that. They, so they do like, they like <laughs> put the pinky finger in the. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> so like, I feel like I would cramp my hand. I've seen it, dude. I've seen it, and he's really That's good. Crazy. Wow. All right, we are getting into this for real, and it looks like uh, Joel and Nees are sticking with the characters they switched to uh, at the last minute. Like this was, they they swapped to these characters um, and nearly got the win against Azoth. Uh, what was it, Noel and Blood Diamond? I think I forget who they just fought, and they got so close to winning. Uh, but Nees and Azoth worked really well for them. And it looks like they've stuck with it because Joel's been, play, you know, he's been playing Queen I, but the crazy switch to Azos seems to have been working out for him. Anyway, here we go. We're in top eight right now of DreamHack Summer. Losers round one. And whoever loses this is out of the tournament in seventh place. Whoever wins this moves on. Yeah, Nees and Joel are definitely Oh, oh huge play man. by Nees. What an early KO, but oh no, Joel. Perhaps unnecessarily losing that stock. That is unfortunate because they got that was such a huge play by Knees to take a really early lead there, and then Joel losing his stock when we had no pressure on him. Uh, yeah, just, and now just squandered it. But it's okay. At least they're even now. Ooh, could be worse. Machete with Knees off the right side of the stage. Try to put a little bit more damage onto him. Machete. Ooh, he lost that stock really early. But it seems though it's like the, with Azoth with this being deep, this deep into the red. Uh, that lead's looking like it didn't matter just because the stocks were lost at the same time and the blue team is adjusting so much better. Like, there goes Hermerson, but there also goes Joel, and, and now down to one stock. It's even in stocks, but definitely not evenly distributed. Nice Ooh. ground pound by Machete. He took a he predicted. I say he took a guess, but he, he had correctly predicted which direction uh, he was going to recover on that. So up by one stock now, Hermerson and Machete are in a good position here because just one more KO on Joel and he's out. Nice little falling down here from Hermerson. Oh, I like the gravity cancel neutral light. And that was actually surprising. I think he caught Oh, that, dude, both that of them. side signature caught off the side Ooh. does so much. And knees protecting Joel. Joel, what? Oh, mm. no. He ground pounded without touching the wall. And he hate to see that. And he face palms right afterward, rightfully so. What an unfortunate play. He has to have been pixels away. Yeah, and now Hermerson and Machete. The worst part about that X ground pound lead. is that you cannot steer it a, 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 a micro pixel. Like, you can't even, like, go to the right yeah. or left. Like, you just fall the it's, entire duration of the animation. Yeah. <laughs> So he uh, uh oh oh no Whoa, oh no he's in trouble okay he he chased Dodge up into the ceiling back. and I was so scared for him he actually can knees like can knees do this this is what I'm talking about like knees so that's oh. why I was so curious to see go on Azoth because I feel like the the success of this team comp comes from him just surviving as long as possible while knees does miracles off stage yeah I mean he really got some work done with Azoth in his last game so I can understand why he made that switch but I agree with you there Queen Nye for Joel has been like the play look look at these knees is doing incredible off stage and Hermerson is that gonna be a stop oh what Hermerson? a switcheroo there he totally oh. like made it look like he was gonna continue 
the pressure is off. Hermison and Machete win game one in this best of five. damage coming out from, from Azoth. Oh, boy, yeah. And the legend... Uh, Azoth legend is not switch. the play, dude. I don't think Azoth is the play. Which is cool to see. I like it. Lo it looks like he's considering something else, but what? Is he going back to Queen Eye? Kaya? The crazy man here. I Will think he, he wants the bow. The defense stance. He wants a bow, and he's like, who he has the, the highest defense? Yeah, yeah. The bow? And, then, and then it's like, can I make it higher? <laughs> Takes it out movement speed. It's like, there we go. That seems like the right call here. I like it. Uh, and he just has to keep doing what he's doing on Ragnar. No changes from the opposing team. Machete and Hermsen are on the Enchantress and Ragnar. Small Enigma, game number two. All right, much smaller stage than we've been seeing these guys fight on. By, by that, I mean uh, Joel and Knees. We, we, they've always been going to large stages prior to this. Yeah. That's actually a great point. Oh, my God, what a team combo. Oh. Just just a quick little, I mean, that's a nice damage lead they got in the first, like, five seconds of the game. And already we've seen Knees trying to take that battle off stage. And Machete has, wants nothing to do with it. At least not against knees. I think Machete is perfectly fine against against uh, Joel, but yeah. Oh, knees, that weapon uh, throw catches the platform instead of hitting the target he was aiming for. Joel, Ooh. Joel's in trouble here. Good little neutral sig. Oh, nice! He players. got the punish. That's the the least you can do, right? Is is hit the person who just hit your teammate because they're in they're in the end lag of their move, right? Right. The first, the, when when the two v two matchup starts off with everybody being so even in damage for the first minute, oh nice KO it always by scares Joel. me to see who's going to lose the first stock yeah. and whether or not it's going to snowball for one team or right. stay even. And right now it's but staying even. But they've reversed it now. Oh, oh no, back super to even. even. And that's why it's like, oh no, <laughs> we're back. And it's that constant rising anxiety of like, okay, the stocks are just being wiped clean. But then when it gets to the last stock for everybody, that's when it gets really scary. It seems as though the weak link at the moment is Joel and Kaya. Yeah, and you know, it's easy to look at someone who just swapped their character and uh, and isn't performing well to, to point at that and be like, well, right. that's the reason. But, you know, it, it could be the same with any character. Nice save by Knees. Joel did not have anything left. And he got the oh, KO Hermes on Hermeson. Oh, my goodness, Knees. What a play. And now they have the 2v1 on to Machete. Machete, ooh. Manages to get out of the way. He uses the side stick to just cut his way back on the stage. And the down stick from Hermeson does not take out Joel. Guarding the weapon so that Joel just gets knocked side to side and ooh the down tick actually connects with both the blue team's players and he's going off stage. Hermerson actually batters his way through his teammate just to be able to recover. And all fighting off stage, he goes to that down tick onto the corner of the small enigma. Oh, nobody is losing the stock here. <laughs> And this is a big deal because Red Team was actually able to secure oh. that lead. Just just barely getting that stock yeah. on Hermeson was huge. Because and now it's even. Yeah, that was a huge play. Like, knees, like, he got the save and he got the early KO. Knees is like MVP. A little recovery and a chase dodge nice. directly up into Machete's death. They've still got a lead here, but Joel's got to hold on to his stock. Even though they've got the lead, he is on his final stock. And leaving Knees in a 2v1 against these players, I think, is detrimental. Absolutely. Uh, and he's doing well so far. He has not taken too much more damage than what he had before. Uh, oh, they've good. got they've got him in the 1v2. Okay. This is huge. Nutrisa comes out, and that's that, that team strategy that I was talking about that this Knees team has. Joel just has to run for his life as Machete is trying to catch him with an air. But the small Enigma, perfect place to be able just to bounce from platforms long enough for your teammate to respond. And the team combo begins. Oh, and that end. was nice. And All that's right. That's, that's the strategy. Who cares that the damage is doubled by knees? It doesn't matter. Yeah. You just have to survive. He has the weapon that he likes using the most right now, which is the bow, which is what I think you're talking about with Azoth. Yeah. He did that the best with yes, the bow on Azoth. I think so. I think his plan was high defense bow. And now it's even higher defense bow. <laughs> and really, I it was I mean, it was Spear that he is got that ending combo. Is Kaya the highest defense bow legend? It has to be. I I'm trying I to think, think if there's a so. higher one. I think so. There's not too many eight defense base, like eight base defense <laughs> right. legends. Um, so Kaya's yeah. pretty far up I'm gonna there. Say, I'm going to say yes, but maybe chat's correcting us. And they're like, hey, you're a dev. Why don't you know this? And it's because there are a lot of know. legends in Brawlhalla. <laughs> it's 45 <laughs> legends. Yeah, 45 <laughs> legends. And, and it's like the stats are like really different and everything. <laughs> but there's no two characters have the same stat distribution. That's true. Two. All right, on to game three here. Knees and Joel won that last match. Ignore the UI. That's wrong. It's 1-1 it's right now. 
One, one, and knees. And Joel are staying on the same character, so they just won with me. Nice little bit of damage that's going over on the Machete. And oh, on Miami Dome. You're right, these have been very small maps that they've been playing on, uh, and, which was unusual for Nees and Joel, but they're just managing oh, to Oh man, a super oh. early lead for Hermison and Machete here. 30 seconds in, and they're already taking two stocks. Two stocks in the lead for the blue team, and oh gosh, Joel's tried that several times, that little beater. Holds down the down sig and can't quite connect anybody into it. Gets punished for his troubles and Machete on the way back. It's a recovery and the knees and knees is taking even more damage as Hermison is doing a wonderful job in game number two. Or game number three. Joel's trying to find those down sigs. Neutral sig puts him in the perfect position to get sideline stared by Machete's orb and the ground pound a little bit too high. Nice little neutral sig from knees sends Hermison one way and Machete the other. Going for the recovery. Oh no! He falls to his death! He goes way too far off the side of the stage and ends up losing that second stock. Hermerson and Machete actually taken both out by Joel. Wonderful job on Nakaya, but that was only after Nice lost that stock, and Joel might follow shortly afterwards if he's not careful. But actually, this game has been a large part in the favor of Joel there. The recovery just catching him as he goes for a greedy double down light side air. If he didn't cast another down light, maybe he could have survived, but the stock lead still is in the favor of Machete and Hermerson. And it's looking like game number three could go over to them if they are not uh, too careless. Ooh. An air from Joel. In the recovery. Knees. Nice. So, I mean, oh, what? Okay. That was a Hail Mary there. It would have been amazing if it landed. But uh, Joel and Knees, I mean, they were they were down by two stocks so early in this, in this game. And they are bringing it back. But Nies has to be careful because... What? Oh, what what a incredible. crazy answer. Uh-oh, Nies in trouble now. Machete looking for the finisher, and that's it. Down Unless... What? Okay. Oh, Joel, no. You can't blame him for trying. You I definitely mean, can't. That's... It's just that now he's like, oh, no. Now that, now <laughs> I just, just miss. I also have to recover. And that is difficult. Down sink from Hermison. Puts him off the side of the stage. And nice. Panel that's it. Now. All right. Now the score is two to one in favor of Machete and Hermison. They have one more game to win to move on here. Remember, we're in the loser's bracket. Whoever loses this is out of the tournament in seventh place. Not a bad place to no. exit the tournament. Definitely not. But think of the glory. Think of the cash money. <laughs> different. You know, this, is, this match alone is a difference of hundreds of dollars here. And it's a $10,000 bracket. This 2v2 Mine, bracket alone. Yeah, yeah 10000 for both. 2v2s and 1v1. Yeah, 10000 for 2v2, yeah. 10000 for 1v1. $20,000 tournament, but this 2v2 bracket right here, got a lot at stake. So no character swaps on nope. either side. We're going back into this. Into a bigger to map. Much to, much to Nise's comfort, I feel like. Yeah. The last well, few maps Joel, were really small. You know, with all that defense, Joel's going to do better on a bigger stage, I feel like. And with all this, but the room <laughs> off stage, the fight. Everybody say, right, it doesn't matter if you just keep getting hit. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Hermison really had him there with the axe neutral airs. Ooh, Machete looking for the down signature, trying to wrap him up and send him flying, but can't. Ooh, man, Joel's back. trying to. Joel's going in with these really high committal plays and Ooh. getting punished for them. Oh, and look uh -oh. at that. As I don't think he can it. make it back. Can't he? Yes, oh, yes, there's he a can, dodge, but it <laughs> doesn't matter. Did he touch? I think he did. Okay, good. Oh, wow. Ooh, the boys the weapon so throw. Okay, Joel is on, Miraculously Joel's on an extra life right now. That was that was eight defense Kaya. Look at that, survive that neutral light. This is good, yeah. And Mammoth you, you can probably exactly attribute talking about. that to the eight strength. And oh no! Oh, he's he living got, oh. That might have finished off Hermerson, but he got interrupted there because that signature he used has so much on hit time. Ooh, okay. All right. He was able to get a return kill on Hermerson. It's more than what I was expecting. His knees was definitely going to get edge guarded there. Yeah, um, so Machete and Hermerson take the lead now, but not by that much. Maybe they can finish off Machete ooh. quickly here and even things up. Joel's doing much, much more creative combos on the bow. And I, I can see what you're talking about. That's probably what was so inspiring about that Azoth plays. It's definitely his bow on defense like bow. And Machete losing really that Really getting it done. Evens it up, and he was putting a ton of damage on Hermerson in between, and Knees is doing a great job returning it. Perfect spot a little falling there. Ooh, that near! Machete gets the down sink and sends the flying active input to the right. Oh, oh. there! <laughs> that was nice. On the way back. 
I love when you can turn a recovery into a team combo. Yeah. That's... And then it doesn't get much better than that. Nice side signature from Hermison. That was huge. They were really starting to catch up there, and Hermison just kind of, like, shut that down. And in a, in a match where they only have one more game to win in the set... Man. It's a great thing to happen. That eight defense was playing out really well, but yeah, great oh. choice by Machete with the down sig on Fate's orb. He could, could only he could only he grappled both. He can only send one. Right. That's how grapple signatures work, but still heavily in his favor there. I think in that situation it prioritizes the higher damage person. Right. A lot of smart mechanics in this game. Who makes this game? Who these guys Who are these guys are on the ball. <laughs> I wonder, as I stare at my coke <laughs> No. Okay, uh, Machete. He's he's got the most uh, he's got the most health in this, or the most stocks with very high health. And oh. there he goes. So okay. this is oh nice play. That's okay, incredible. this suddenly turned into a winnable situation. And Hermeson, you saw like intelligently was just like oh gotta get out of here. Was yeah. just recovering as high as possible, waiting for Machete to come back. But Machete's got a lot of damage, and Hermeson. Yeah. All right, Joel just has to find a they weapon. Might be able, if they can take out Hermeson here and then win the 2v1 against Machete, that'll keep him in this set. However, they're both deep in red on their potentially final stocks of the tournament. Oh, the it's going down here. Joel to the ground pound. No. Okay. There goes Oh, no. And it's up to Joel. Uh, oh, can this. Joel win this 2v1? I mean, what a huge thing. That would be so crazy. He has the 8 defense. In his first land he has ever. the bow. Side light. Okay, dodge out of place with the Sayer. Oh, it's not going to do it just yet. The AD defense really coming Watch in. Watch out for that weapon. Oh, the weapon. <laughs> Hermeson, wait, oh. wait. Okay. Oh, that he's in it. trouble now. Can you get the grab That's it. Oh. Machete and Hermeson win, but what a good set that was. And, and that's incredible for Hermeson and Machete because they get in the top five now. Seventh place yeah. for Knees and Joel. And I'll just say right up, that is, that is respectable. That is definitely respectable for that team. To take indeed, out indeed. Ariel on the way up, Ariel and Goosey. Um, that's the team that I was expecting to win.